Dino nuggets. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, y'all. Hey, tap. Tap that like button. Tap that like button. Tap that like button. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, y'all, my head is mm. oh, The video you posted. So that's what I was, that's why I'm up here about to ask y'all, because I have not asked y'all, I've asked everybody else, but y'all, hold on. Oh. I just watched a new video. You watched the video? You liked it? Yeah, y'all, that was a little mini vlog. That was like real uh, mediocre. That ain't really how I get down when it comes to vlogs and stuff like that. I don't really do no mini vlogs and stuff. But it was something to upload because, like I said in the video, I had my camera with me, but my camera died. So I wasn't able to upload the, the footage that I had got previously. So I remember that I had my phone. So I was like, well, let me just give them something so they won't be waiting for a whole nother video for mad day, for mad days or mad long. So that was just something light, just so y'all could have something to watch or whatever. But my reasoning for coming up here was to ask y'all, um, you know, like, what are you guys looking for on the channel? Like, what do you guys want to see more of? Um, because I've been I've been planning out content. I've been planning out content and stuff, but I really want to know what y'all are interested in watching. Like, what do y'all want to see on the channel and stuff? Cooking and cleaning. Mm-hmm. Cooking and cleaning. Hold on. Daily vlogs. Okay. What else? I got that. I got that. Get ready with me. More grocery hauls. Okay. Story times. <laughs> Course story times, right? Y'all wanna be in my business so bad. <laughs> Y'all wanna be in my business so bad. Shopping vlogs, okay. I love shopping vlogs, y'all. I love shopping. Um, that's that's my therapy. Um, but I can only shop when I got some money. <laughs> uh nighttime routine, okay. Night routine. And I'm sure morning routine, right? Morning. Oh, yes. I was thinking about doing that one this week. Organizing. Okay. Um. Decorating. Okay. Um, what else? Mommy and me videos. Wait, what do you mean mommy and me? You mean mommy and like my son or like me and my mom? <laughs> I think you meant me and my son. So mommy and son vlogs, you mean? Or mommy and son videos? What I cook in a week? Okay. What I cook in a week? I don't know how that's going to go because they be trying to have me cooking on, on TikTok all of the time. So, I ain't able to do all that. But I'll, I'll try to finesse it. Pranks. I got a few few of them up my sleeve. I got a few of them. Okay. My bracelets are Pandora. They're from Pandora. Um, More cooking videos. Y'all love the cooking videos. 
Okay, we're going to get to that because I'm going to ask y'all what y'all want me to make. Um, What? Don't... Why don't you wear makeup? You don't like it? No, I'm not a makeup person. I like to be natural in my natural state. Um, I will, you know, do like nails, hair. I don't do wigs and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I just like to be in my natural state. I got Dana Life clothing hauls. Yes. So I got, I got something like that coming up. Clothing hauls for Elijah and myself. Kids slash adults. <clears throat> Love you. You are a great, wonderful, beautiful woman. And I love your son. I love your hair. Thank you, Alice. Um, you and Elijah Bacon Show. Hello. <laughs> My the four and three year old love baking. Okay. We were gonna bake tonight. I think Elijah's asleep, y'all. Um so baking with Eli. With Eli. Um a twin Q and A. Twin Q and A. That's cool. I like these different ideas. I'm trying to get outside of the stuff that y'all normally see on everybody else's channel like give me some real video ideas like like how she just said twin q a like she was specific so like stuff like that i miss y'all on tiktok too i really do Oh, I got a good one. A car chronicle. You and your mom. Your brother. Okay, car chronicle. Ugh. DIY projects? Okay. That's different. I like that. Yes, I'm a twin. I have a twin brother. Rating foods. Okay, so like a food review or just rating different foods. I like that. Um, cook viral TikTok. Okay. See, I like that. Cooking viral TikTok foods. All right. Update on your your mom's relationship. Um, open talk session. Um, would you like to see that on a video or are you at um like what? A friendship lessons discussion. Okay, hold up. Discussion. <laughs> Discussions or general girl talk. Okay, so girl talk. Slash advice I could put. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, you talked about your Cricut craft designs. Yeah, I got some of that stuff coming up. So that'll be in like incorporated into like a vlog. Do you have any hobbies you enjoy? I love shopping. I love shopping. That's my number one favorite thing to do. Um, anything, any any type of shopping at that. So it don't just got to be clothes and stuff. Any type of shopping, decor shopping, furniture shopping, clothing shopping, um, any type of shopping, grocery shopping, love shopping. Hold up. Self care, love that. Video style, up, down. I'm 25 years old. Hold on. Paint and sit with Eli. I had something like that in mind, but I like that. Okay. Budgeting. Okay, because I, I do really good with that. I have gotten so much better over these last two years with budgeting and saving and stuff. So definitely saving slash... So budgeting slash saving... 
saving. How to save in worship Christ videos. Um, okay. So like uh Bible study, I guess you can say. <coughs> videos kid and mom activities okay i got some of that stuff coming up car shopping yes soon <laughs> we're gonna be doing that soon fun day with eli i have a lot of that type of stuff coming up already you guys so yes 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 um How is my baby doing? He's good. He's good. Girl. Group chat. Girl group chat. Mm, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. I got a few of my supporters' um, phone numbers and we chat on a regular basis and stuff like that. So... Um, if y'all not follow me over on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and follow me on TikTok. Um, because I'm going to put up something where like if supporters want to, um, you know, communicate with me like one-on-one -on -one type communicating. Cause I wanted to start this thing where like I FaceTime, um, a supporter like every day or something like that for a little bit, maybe like. For like 10 minutes or something like that. And so to a supporter. Um, so I don't know if you guys will enjoy that. But like yeah. Realistic parent. With me video. Sunday scripture day. Yes sis. You can. Love that. Yeah so I'm thinking about doing that with my supporters. Um, the ones that want to just talk to me on like a one-on-one -on -one basis, um, or I'm even thinking about, um, doing a zoom with you all and then y'all just come in here and, and talk to me. Oh, me. Y'all can actually talk like, you know, like as if we're on the phone, how to grow your YouTube channel and how to get more, hold up. How to get more videos on our channel or on your channel. Well, um, growing your YouTube channel. Woman Empowerment Index Card Challenge. I have that down. <laughs> I was supposed to, I was going to do it today for Valentine's Day, but things had gotten in the way of that. But that's on the list. Hi, babe. Yes, I am NCT. You're discouraged not getting subscribers. So, if you watch my... I posted a video, y'all. That's why I put put it up here. Because I get these same questions all the time. Watch my video of... um. I think it's like... What is it? What is it called? I think it's... Con, uh, advice for content creators or for beginner content creators or something like that. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I answer that in that video. Hold on. Yeah, content creator must-haves and advice and tips. No, I've never had a caviar. CT attraction vlogs. Yeah, you probably won't ever get that because it ain't nothing here attractive. Attractive attractions attract and attractive ain't nothing here, sis. <laughs> ain't nothing here. That's why we trying to get out of here. We taking trips. Um, do you plan to travel soon? I do plan to travel. Uh, you ladies were right. Riri was pregnant. Yeah, she pregnant. Good for her. Um. But you kind of, when it comes to content creation and trying to grow your channel, you want to stay consistent. Don't look at the numbers. Don't look at the views. Just keep posting because eventually, if you keep posting, your videos will fall into the right hands. I had the same issue um, 
at one point and I continue to keep posting I and I invested in myself. So you want to invest in yourself. If you feel like, you know, your content is worthy content and you want people to watch it, start um getting promotions. Like start doing promotions with people. Um and getting yourself out there. That's how you, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Favorite fruit is pineapple. Um my grandmother as well, I guess. I haven't spoken to her in a little minute. Um, Light-hearted, fun, blind date. Could be fun, out of the box. Yeah, I don't know how that person would feel about a camera in their face on a date, but <laughs> I don't know. Hey, CJ. Um, Favorite food, seafood. Y'all want me to do a seafood boil on camera? Like, eating it and doing, like, some questions, maybe, like, with my mom. Like, a spicy, like, a, um, a hot seat. Try exotic snacks. Thought I couldn't cook. Girl, I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna cook it. I was gonna buy it. <laughs> I was gonna buy it. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> so we could so that one could be like um like a hot seat. So like okay. So hot seat and asking my mom spicy questions. Hot seat. <laughs> okay. Do do you smoke or drink? No. Why are you asking me all these questions? You real? You real in my business? You real in my business. I don't like that. Girl, Sasha. <laughs> Sasha. Sasha, girl, I know you not playing with me, girl. You is playing with me. And I don't like that. I do not like that for you. Girl, you better come correct. <laughs> Girl, you better come correct. <laughs> Cause ain't no way you just wrote that in my comments. Girl, that fool was busting. It's gone. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> no way. No freaking way you wrote that. <laughs> hey, Tiana, you should do a food challenge. Sweet and versus spicy food challenge. Okay. Okay, food challenge. Sweet and spicy. Yo, somebody get Sasha. Do you like reading? What type of books do you like? I do like reading, but I haven't had any um no good books. I wanted to get the that um Michelle Obama book, but it was too much. They wanted like twenty something dollars for that book. I said I'm not paying that for a book. I wanted to read it though. I can't remember the name of it, but it's a Michelle Obama book that's out. That I had wanted to read. I like reading like interesting stuff. Like stuff that um that can educate me, that can inspire me, you know what I mean? Like stuff to like motivate me to do better. 
No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just like, y'all, y'all really in here asking a lot, editing and all. Wait, I missed a lot of y'all questions. Y'all junks is coming in here for real, like crazy. Um, oh, that's my nephew. Hey. <laughs> hey, Elijah. What you doing up? Ain't you supposed to be in a bed sleep? I'm going to tell your mom. Let me call my sister. You better get your butt in the bed, boy. Wait, if I use the Target app to scan books, they're almost it's cheaper. Oh, okay, I might have to go to Target then. I'm new to your channel. I just started binge watching your videos. I'm going to go back a little further so I can catch up on everything. I'm sorry if I offend you. Girl, you ain't offend me. It was just funny because, like, like anybody that's been watching me for a while, they know how I feel about that man. And no. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Favorite color. My favorite color is purple. I think you guys should know that by now. Like, everything purple. Um, And then, favorite perfume. I'm going to have to go with uh, Marc Jacob. Marc Jacob. I can't remember the scent. Anyways, it's by Marc Jacob. I can't think of the scent off of the top of my head, but it's so it smells so pretty. Um, good night, babe. <laughs> good night. Get in the bed. Um, shopping hauls, trying on videos. I have some of that coming up for you and Eli. People love that. Yeah, so. That's what I'm about to start doing. I got so many haters in my comments, y'all. Like, they feel like, okay, because I was homeless at one point that I'm not supposed to elevate ever. They feel like I'm supposed to stay in this place. Oh, how you homeless, but you got this and you got that and you shopping and you sh this and you shopping and you doing that. The whole time, I never said I was broke. I, I always work. Yes, it's Daisy. Um... <laughs> I wasn't broke. You know what I mean? So, I don't understand why people are making it seem like this is new. I've always bought nice things. I've always had nice things. And I didn't become homeless because of eviction either. <laughs> Yeah, they love seeing people down. It's like, dang, I can't even enjoy my life. Like, I can't even level up without people talking about me. Oh, you shouldn't have this. You shouldn't have that. You were scamming the whole time. I'm like, how was I scamming? Because none of this stuff that I, all this stuff that I have, I, I never asked for it. People sent this stuff out of the kindness of their heart. So, like, I be real, how can I say this? I be real skeptical on putting out certain stuff for y'all because I always got people trying to make it seem like I'm showing off for one. I've had people come in my comments tell me that I'm showing off for for um for other people. I've had people tell me that um I'm a materialistic. I've done her so much stuff. And it's just like, this is the type of content that people enjoy watching. They want to see what people have. They want to see, and I don't mean it in that type of way. I mean it more so like, they want to see what other people are doing. People are just invested in other people's lives. And that's cool. You know, that's just what social media is nowadays. And I don't understand why people have a problem with that. You know, if they're sharing that. You know what I mean? Um, and it's like people don't know how to just be happy with other, for others. You know what I mean? They just want to be miserable and want to just talk a whole bunch of mess. <sighs> and so I be real like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put this out. 
I don't know if I want to share this with them. I don't know if I want to do that because I don't want it to ever come off like I'm bragging. I don't want to ever come off like I'm boastful or anything like that because that's not me. That's not me at all. And I still work. I'm not working with the people that you guys used to see me work with, like my clients and stuff. I'm in a whole different town. I'm an entrepreneur at this point. My following has gained. Y'all see it. There's not a secret. My following has, um, you know, has brought me to the point where now I can be an entrepreneur. I can dibble and dabble into other things and stuff like that. So that's where I'm making my money. And I don't understand why people have a problem with that. People are weird. Don't go back and forth with them. <laughs> People are weird. So, like, that's why I'd be just real skeptical on putting out certain stuff up here. And I know, like, I know if I put the stuff out here, like, y'all would really enjoy it. But I'd really be, like, so skeptical. I'd be like, mm. I already know if I upload this, people gonna have something to say. That's what I'm saying. The people be acting like I'm just out here just blowing money. Like, no, the stuff that I work for is not like I just go out there and just, uh, what do they call it? Um, impulsive, just being very impulsive and, and, and buying things. I look at something, I'm like, okay, I want that. And I work towards it. I have a savings account where I save. And then when it's time for me to purchase something that I want, I go out there and do it. Simple. Like, what the heck? And I shouldn't be, you know, I shouldn't be talked about in my comment section because I want to have nice things in my house. I want my house to look nice. Like, y'all, there's so much stuff in my house right now. There's so much stuff that I want in my house right now that I don't have because I'm not materialistic like that. Like, I know that if I wait on it, eventually I'll get it or I'll be blessed with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm using my ring light right now. For light, I don't have floor lamps. I don't have an overhead lamp, an overhead light in my living room. So I'm using my ring light. Like it's so much stuff. I don't have a TV for my living room. I've been I've been saying how I want a TV in here. I don't have that. Like, you know, just so many things. If I was materialistic or I just spent, 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 please, I would not be here right now. <laughs> I would not be here right now. You don't own no explanation. It's your life and there. I'm putting money out of your pockets for you. Yeah. Period. Exactly. I just don't I don't understand why people just come up here and hate on me for no reason. Almost 300 in here, Tiana J. Oh, I know. Because people, they want to just be nosy. They want to be nosy. But anyways, um... I know that's what you guys like to see. You guys like to see, you know, um, like clothing hauls, what I bought for my apartment, me decorating my apartment and stuff like that. So I'm not going to be reluctant to just holding that back from you guys anymore. I'm going to start posting that stuff because I know that's what y'all like to see. You know what I mean? So I'm going to start doing it. Act like they are invisible. Oh, I do. Some of them I do, some of them I don't even respond to, and a lot of the ones I be blocking them. So, like, they can watch my content, but they can't comment. Because they're not about to come up here and just start, keep trolling me.
<laughs> period. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I love y'all too. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm just going to keep doing me. They talked about Jesus Christ. So who am I, right? struggling the same way shame how people judge you but they only know your story but it's okay god got you love exactly thank you trina i appreciate that i appreciate that and that's what they fail to realize they like like at the end of the day i was yes i was homeless but i wasn't gonna stay there like everybody knew that it was i was going through this because i was trying to get somewhere. I wasn't going to stay stagnant. I wasn't going to stay homeless. I was trying to get somewhere. And now that I've gotten to where I need to be, I'm supposed to continue to level up. I'm not supposed to just stay comfortable. No. When you're in God, there's no there's no such thing as becoming comfortable. You're always elevating. You're always moving up. You're always just moving. It, you cannot you cannot become complacent. That's not me. I've 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 that mindset far gone from me. Far gone. Life is about growth and is I know that's what it is. They'd rather see you struggle. That's it. What time do you go live to you most of the time? Um, I normally go live during the evening. So, um, this is your glow up and I'm here for it. Thank you. And that's what, see, that's why I come, and that's why I come back. Like, I try not to let the hate get to me because I know it really be a lot of y'all out here that, love me and support me and love to see what I'm doing and to see me elevate from where I have came from. And I want to be able to inspire other people like me that look like me um, to do the same things. And I don't mean the same exact thing. You don't have to come on social media and share your life with the world, but that motivation, that confidence, that um, you know, woman empowerment to just keep pushing to keep doing your best and try to do better than, you know, what your parents did or, or what you was brought up on and stuff like that. Do better because you can be, you can be better than that. You can be better than what, you know, you were brought up on. Yes, yes, Anaya. They will only understand if they if they knew my story. And my story is out there. Is as nothing is a secret. Um, if you don't know my story and you are judging, go watch my TikTok accounts because it wasn't for the week. It was not for the week. Okay, I I was homeless for five months. I lost my father right before I got my place, and I continued to put my best foot forward for me and my son to get here. And I continue to keep my faith strong in the Lord. That's what got me here. And so I hate when people try to belittle, you know, what I've accomplished. Like I didn't work for this. Yeah, they do. But ain't nobody finna belittle my 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 experience and my situation that I went through 
to get here. Mm-mm. Thank you. I love you more. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's so many people that are rooting for me, and I just want to see what else life brings me as long as I can I continue to stay obedient to the Lord. Um, I was about to say something. Oh, I did want to also come up here and let y'all know that um I will be dropping merch soon. I will be dropping merch. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. And um I think y'all gonna like this merch drop. I really, I really think it's a lot of females that follow me and I think you guys are going to love this. Um, the guys too. <clears throat> and, um, it was something else I had wanted to say. Something else I had wanted to say. Who was it? Who was it? Oh, I'm going to be doing promotions as well. So promotions are not free. They will cost um, but if you're trying to get your, um, you're trying to get traction to your YouTube channel, your Instagram account, TikTok account, and stuff like that, I will be doing promotions soon. So y'all stay, y'all stay tuned for that as well. It's Valentine's Day. Let's send some hearts as well as each other. Thank you for the hearts. Yeah, y'all. Y'all understand, like, so many people has done reached out to me trying to get me on a podcast and stuff to talk about homelessness and what I've endured and what and how I've overcame it and stuff like that. And I'm, I, I don't know, I've been a little reluctant on going on these uh, podcasts and talking about it because I feel like, why do I need to go on your podcast and talk about it when I have all these platforms that I can go on and talk about it to you know these people it's so many people that subscribe to my channel every day there's so many people that um follow me over on instagram every day i can do that myself you know what i mean i ain't nobody about to sit here and try to make no money up off of me you know what i mean okay so promotions for businesses for that's free. That's totally free. Promotion for businesses. Now, what I want you to do is, whatever your product is, you have to send it to my P.O. box. Once I get it at my P.O. box, I will put it in a video at the beginning of a video, and I will let my supporters know where they can find you, yada, yada, yada. Um, and if you want me to put on my other social media um, accounts as well, I will do that and let people know about your product. For your business so for businesses i'm doing that for free but when it comes to channels or other platforms and stuff that you're trying to grow on that's going to cost you my p.o box is in the um, description of my videos my recent upload you can find it there i want to deny the podcast it could be exposure so more People could follow you. I mean, I thought about that too, but I feel like people only come out of the woodworks when, you know, somebody popping and stuff like that. These podcasts, because I, I did look into them, um, they don't have a big, they don't have a bigger following than I have. Yes, I like candles. I have a um someone just sent me some candles when I when I um upload my next YouTube video, um I'm going to put hers in the front of that video so you guys can um you guys can, you know, go on over to her, check her out and stuff like that. 
Um, some people have sent me stuff already. So, yes, I hear what you're saying about the exposure. Um, you do all that. Joyce G, please get out of here before you get blocked. Because ain't nobody beg for nothing. Ain't nobody beg for a thing. Pull up the receipts, sis. Pull up the receipts. Show me. Weirdo. I already did. <laughs> People say anything. That's what I'm saying. They sit up here and talk about, oh, you beg, you you did this, you did that. Show me the receipts where I beg for anything. <laughs> like, wow. And that's why I don't get real mad. Like, I don't get uptight about it because... I know what I did and I didn't come up here. I didn't come on no platform and beg for nothing. What people sent me was out of the kindness of their heart. I didn't ask for none of it. I didn't ask for none of it. People was like, oh, send me your cash app, send me your this, send me your that. It took me so long to even do that because I'm like, I'm not up here for the money. I just want to share my story to inspire other women. That's it. The gifts came along with all of that. It came after all of that. People be acting like it's a crime to receive gifts. But now let the shoe be on the other foot and you was receiving gifts from people. You ain't going to accept them. Like, let's be for real. If we being for real, somebody just starts sending you stuff out of the blue because they see how hard of a, a of a worker you are. You not going to accept them? I'm not about to block my blessings for nobody. Or I'm not about to dim my light for nobody. Because people are very much so annoying. And I have a I have a freedom of speech to be able to sit here and explain myself because they come up in here acting like they run in the show. You don't run this show. So, if you got a problem with it, you don't like me up here explaining myself when people come at me sideways, you ain't got to watch. You ain't got to sit here and watch. You can leave. And I'm saying in the most respectful is way, point blank, period. But I'm going to speak my piece just like people come up here and try to speak their piece to me. But I ain't hearing none of that. I'm not about to block my blessings for nobody. Or like I said, dim my light for nobody to make them feel good. Yeah, probably watching blocked and all. That's what they that's the only thing they can do. I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. You said no offense and it was none taken, but I'm letting anybody else know that may be up here thinking that they can just say whatever they want to me and I'm not supposed to give them a response. I'm going to respond to whatever I want to respond to.
Mm. Yes, that's the prime example because as long as I was homeless, as long as I was hopping pillar to post, y'all was okay with that. And I don't mean the ones that's up here support me. I mean the trolls. Y'all was okay with that. But as soon as y'all see me come up from that, now it's a problem for y'all. I was not going to stay there. I had a mission. And that was in my mission to stay homeless. My mission was to make sure that me and my son had a forever home. Y'all very much so weird. Girl, I'll be having more people than this on my TikTok. This ain't nothing new for me. I get way more hate than I get here on TikTok. I get way more hate on TikTok. But it's going to come. It, it, it's, it's, it's the territory. You're going to get it. It's social media. Yeah, exactly. How am I showboating when I've been putting out my whole life on social media? I've been putting my life on social media. Ain't nothing changed. Girl, I already know. I already know that's what it is, but I'm not going to let nobody see me down. I'm going to continue to elevate. That's why if that was the case, I would stop uploading my YouTube videos. I would stop going live. I would stop doing everything. My mother told me this when I first had got, I was getting like real, real bad backlash. I was getting real bad backlash. I was like, mom, I don't think I'm going to do this no more. These people up here crazy, blah, blah, blah. She said, girl, she said, if you stop what you're doing right now, the devil won. And I, and I didn't think about it like that at first. But when she said it like that, I said, you know what? I said, you're right. I said, because God has called me here for a reason. He has chosen me for a reason. And he gets the glory out of my life. He gets the glory out of all of this. So if I stop what I'm doing, what he asked me to do, then the devil won. And I know that I am victorious in the name of Jesus. I ain't going for none of that. I'm not going for none of that. So people could say whatever they want and keep on talking because I'm going to continue to keep elevating. And did. I'm not letting nobody run me away. <laughs> oh, turn off the comments. Do this, do that. Nope. People, say whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Be exactly. Exactly. I was just about to say that. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And any tongue that rise up against me shall be condemned in the name of Jesus. Because I ain't going for none of that. Rebuke them, them devils. Them Satanists. I rebuke them in Jesus' name. Oh, I'm not. I'm not, y'all. When I tell y'all this, I'm going to make 2023 and every year after that count in everything that, that comes along with it. Man, <laughs> they're going to really have something to hate about them. Mm. Not Elisha. Yo, if this is my nephew for real, why <laughs> you need to go to bed? I think my nephew is up here. Why are you up? Let me text your mom. <laughs> Let me text your mom and tell her that you <laughs> that you up. You should be in the bed. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna text her. 
elevate through. Yes. And that's it. That's it right there in a nutshell. That's it right there. That's it right there. You got to elevate through the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's it. Hey, boo. How are you? I am going to let them hit. And now that I came up here to get that off my chest, I ain't even going to hold y'all. I guess it was a good thing that I came up here and, and we actually spoke on that. Because now when I tell you I'm not holding back nothing from my YouTube videos, I'm not holding back nothing. I'm not holding back nothing. Y'all going to get the real. Um, Y'all going to get all the little hauls that y'all want. Y'all going to get it all. They going to just have to be mad. I'm tired of sparing people feelings. I miss TikTok. Girl, me too. They banned me for a whole week. Y'all getting it all. Shopping vlogs, clothing hauls, um, all of that. All of that. I'm not letting up. I'm not letting up. I love more cooking videos. Yeah, I'm going to start doing more of those too. I cooked tonight on um on Instagram live. We had we cooked um shrimp and grits with bacon and cheese and peppers. And it was good. So, I'm not holding back nothing, y'all. Y'all want the content? I'm gonna drop it for y'all. I'm not holding back nothing. They are gonna have to just be mad. Y'all see somebody in the comments getting out of hand? Check them. Y'all got my permission. Until I come and delete them. That's what they said. They said show boat. And I said, wow, really? Was I showboating when I was showing y'all how I was living homeless? <laughs> Man, I've been on, I've been on YouTube since 2020. It's 2023. Come on now. This ain't nothing new to me. I've been up here showing my life. Y'all just now finding out about me. <laughs> like, let's be for real. Yeah, I think he's sleep, y'all. My baby sleep. I think he's sleep, but I ain't hear him in a little minute. For a little minute. And hopefully he sleep the rest of the night because he be doing too much when he up. Hold on, I have to go check on him. They jealous. I know that's exactly what it is. Because they they so jealous and envious of the next person. They can't be blessed. God can't bless no mess. Okay? So if you continue to be messy and mean and spiteful and jealous and envious of the next person, you'll never be blessed. Y'all, first of all, the room is a hot mess. I'm about to show y'all what it looked like. Oh, my back. This boy, I've been telling him to clean his room up all day. Let me show y'all what he done did. How do I flip the screen? Let me show y'all what he done did. Why is this room like this? Ain't no way. Look where he at. Y'all, just look at him. <laughs> Who do he think he is? 
I'd be dead wrong if I woke him up right now and told him to clean up this mess. That is a hot mess. That's a shame. This is what I deal with. Got the light on. He gonna clean this mess up too when he get up. I ain't even about to play with him. I ain't gonna wake him up. Cause if I wake him up, he ain't going back to sleep no time soon. Then again, knowing my soft self, I'll probably end up going in there while he's sleep and cleaning it up because I hate a freaking mess. I really do hate a mess. I hate people in my living room. I hate people in my dining room. Like I don't want nobody I don't want nobody nowhere because when people be in my house and touching stuff, rearranging stuff, I'm like, "No, see, you got to go." I'm very much OCD. I just hate people in my house, period. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. <laughs> I don't want nobody in my house. Because, see, the thing is, it's not that I don't want people in my house. It's just people don't take care of your things like you do. And I'll be damned if I have somebody come up in my crib and start messing up stuff that I work hard to get. So, it's like, know your place when you come here. Know how to treat other people's stuff. Has anyone besides your mom been to your house? Um, yes. My, my, um, my childhood friend, more like a sister, she's been here with her kids. Um... My my twin brother's been here, my older brother's been here, and my uncle. But other than that, nobody hasn't been here. So just close family. Girl, no. Oh, for the TV for Eli's room. Um, did you get the TV? I'm waiting on how so okay. For the movie theater experience at home for Elijah. Um, you are you talking about the TV for Elijah or are you talking about the TV for my living room? So this is what the living room looked like. I told y'all the other night, I because somebody had asked, could I do a house tour? But my house was looking a hot mess. Not a hot mess, but it was just messy. But this is the living room. I gotta I wanna get me some some throw pillows, like the color of that little whatchamacallit right there. I want to get some throw pillows to put on those in that color because it goes with my little pumpus grass right here. So that's the little pumpus grass and all of that. So, yeah, but it's the Valentine's Day, the quarter I got up right now. But just put a splash of color in here. I want to put something on the walls. I don't know what I want to put on the walls yet. I've been looking, but I haven't really came across anything that I like. Um, and yeah, it ain't really nothing going on in the dining room. This is the dining table. I got a mirror on the wall right there. I have my family sign hanging up. I had this family sign hanging up right here, but it fell down. So I'm going to have to probably get something heavier to keep it on. You are also very good at decorating. Thank you. Um, I try my best. I really do try my best. Um, and like I like I'm saying, like people make it seem like I'm rich. I'm just out here splurging. Like if I was really splurging for real, I would have everything that I need in here. Or that I want. So that's not the case. And who cares? This is my money. 
How are you trying to dictate on how I spend my money? You know what I mean? So, I'm going to show y'all the bathroom real quick. Good evening. Rate your stress when you go out with your son. Girl, a seven. Probably even a strong eight. Most of the time, it's a seven. But, like, when it's bad, it's like a strong eight. <laughs> Not she peeing. Yes, I was peeing. <laughs> hey, Trin. Yeah, I was. I had to take a little pee pee. <laughs> Hold on, y'all, because I gotta put the um, what you call it on the roll. What's it called? Not the toilet tissue, but the paper towel on the roll. Ah, uh, my back. I don't know what I just did with my back, but it hurt. Oh, man. I know my bathroom is due for a cleaning. But I won't probably do it until tomorrow. How was your mom's here? She's good. They about to say something. Yes, my mom is nice to me. <clears throat> Just like every mom in daughter moment. Are wait, are you talking to me or are you talking to Hold on, y'all. Y'all, I, I can't keep up with the comments. I'm trying to answer so many questions at once. They, somebody said they're going to talk. They're about to talk. So, I don't know. What? Okay, hold on. Lots would like to hear about how you went from homeless to a great spot. The program application is how all of it works. I've I've mentioned this a bunch of times. I don't know how so many of y'all are still not understanding it, but I'll I will say it again. <laughs> I don't have videos on the process. There is a video on my YouTube channel on why I left home. If y'all go back and watch that video, y'all know exactly why I became homeless. That video that y'all keep seeing where I got evicted, 
that's not the that's not the original video that happened after i became homeless the video is on my youtube channel Shake your body, do the shine slide. Shake your body, do the shine slide. Check it now. Oh, I'm back. Sorry, y'all. So, what happened? Maybe a reflection story time. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't like talking about it. I really don't. I don't. Like, imagine going through something so traumatic as what I went through. And then somebody continuously keep asking you about it. Over and over and over and over and over again. Having to relive those moments over and over and over again. And I, I understand what y'all saying, like, oh, well, you bring it to the internet, you brought it to the internet, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And like I said, the information is already out there. So if you're not going to go look and find it for yourself, then it is what it is. Like, I don't want to keep living that. I'm not there no more. I don't want to keep going back there. Yo, my nephew was really like. The information is out there. If y'all want to know the exact video it is, if you scroll down on my videos, it's a video of a police officer and Elijah in a hallway. It's a video of Elijah and an officer in the hallway of my house. If y'all click on that video, y'all will y'all will see. Y'all will know what happened. Not exactly what happened, like what led up to me leaving, but something happened beforehand and I just ended up starting to record in the process of me getting my stuff and leaving. So, yeah. It's up there. That's what I'm saying. Like everything that I've been through, like with this homeless process and stuff has been nothing but the truth. Like I have never sugarcoated, never lied about anything. It's up there. I did not get evicted or anything like that. My mother got evicted. I did not get evicted. I left before she got evicted. They do need to go back and look, but I'm not about to keep talking about it. I'm not. If you want to know that bad, go watch those videos and then watch the ones that come right after it. And you will understand exactly. You will understand exactly. And then you can go right to my TikTok account and watch my old videos on me going back and forth to 
hotel to hotel to shelter to shelter. It's all up there. It's all public knowledge. Happy Valentine's Day. How are you successful at getting housing? What tips do you have? That question, not uh, all that back stuff. Um, I have a I have a video on that as well. If you go watch the video about the news, the news video of me getting my my um my housing, you will know exactly that. Everything is up there. I've answered every question that y'all have. Oh, I didn't see your question. What was it? Definitely an open book. I have nothing to hide. It's real life. This is real life for me. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Nothing. This is my life. This is real life. Yes. Basically, go watch the videos. I've been saying that. I've been saying that. Everything is out there. People just be so lazy and don't be wanting to do the legwork. I'm not about to keep repeating myself. That's the whole point of making a video, so I don't have to keep repeating myself. When am I going to start teaching classes? Um, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to even do that. Like, <laughs> that comes with a lot of pressure. And it's a lot of time as well. Like, I already be trying to do so much of everything else. And then to do that, that's going to take away from a lot of time of me, you know, putting out, you know, stuff that you guys want to watch. You know, um, the other stuff that I have on the side that I'm trying to do as being an entrepreneur and stuff like that. Like, I just got so much going on. Maybe one day, but not right now. <laughs> not right now, baby girl. All right, I just had to wipe that up because that was bothering me. Who did my hair? My sister did my hair. I don't know if my nephew's still in the live, but um, I don't know if my nephew is is in the live, but he'll let you know. <laughs> Elijah, tell them who did my hair. <laughs> Period. His mom. <laughs> His mom did my hair. My sister. What are my thoughts on a lot of landlords no longer taking Section A and are you worried about that? No. Let me tell you why. So my thoughts, first of all, on um, landlords not taking Section A, I think that is like real corny, first of all, because... Like, come on, at the end of the day, you still getting the money that, you know, that you deserve. You still getting your money at the end of the day. These are federal funds that they're giving you. So at least you know that the money is going to be paid and paid on time. That's number one. Um, And then the second part to your question was, am I worried about that? No, I am not worried about that because I have a home already. Um, But sec Section 8 for me... Section 8 for me is um, a stepping stone. I don't plan to be on Section 8 the rest of my life. I plan to use it for what I have it for right now. And that's for me to get on my feet 
And once I'm able to, you know, do everything on my own, pay my own bills and yada, 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 then I'm off of it and, and on to the next person. Give it to the next person that may need it. You know what I mean? So, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's, it's there for a stepping stone. People get comfortable on Section 8 and stay there. That's not what it was for me. That's not what it was for me. Um, um, I didn't go into detail about that, but me starting out on my own, I didn't have that good credit. You know, I didn't have that good credit that everybody's looking for to get an apartment and stuff outside of Section 8. Um, so Section 8 helped me out a lot by being able to obtain an apartment. You know what I mean? So that's that on that. So when people ask, oh, well, why do you have Section 8 and why are you still on Section 8 if you're doing this and you're doing that? That's the reason. I'm trying to grow. I don't, I, I didn't come into the game with 650, 750, you know, credit score. You feel me? So I'm trying to build that up so that way I can purchase my own home, that I can continue to, you know, strive, um, thrive and, and be great. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Period. And I don't plan to be on Section 8. Exactly. Very successful. I'm, and I'm trying to just do more and just be great. Honestly. They're not supposed to discriminate. Well, Elijah started a YouTube channel. Elijah already has a YouTube channel. He has a video on it. Elijah has about 77 subscribers. He has about 77 subscribers. His, um... What is it? His his channel name is Elijah's Playland. Exactly. It's guaranteed money. So I don't know how anybody is like just declining that. Like how you decline how you how are you declining that? How are you declining federal funds? Elijah, we're not talking about you. We're talking about my baby, Elijah. <laughs> so let me show y'all the bathroom real quick. Elijah, my Elijah has his own YouTube channel as well. Oh, he said, I know. Y'all go um subscribe to my nephew channel too. And that too, and they be skeptical, like, <laughs> yeah, believe it or not, people was thinking like, I don't, they like, oh, oh, what happened to your job? You don't have a job. You're on section eight, you're this, you're that. When I tell y'all my landlord was not going to rent to me unless I had a job, he not going for none of that. He said that he was like, oh, do you work? Do you do this? Do you do that? Like we talked about all of this before I had even got this apartment. If I ain't had no job, he wasn't renting to me, whether section eight was going to pay or not he wasn't written to me he said it straight up like that he wants somebody in here that is going to take care of the place that's working class that's you know about their business and stuff like that he ain't want nobody in here that's fooling around that's going to tear up his place this place is like he just remodeled this place so when people say Stuff like that to me, I just let it roll off my back. <laughs> I let it roll off my back because nobody knows nothing. Nowadays, you got to have multiple streams of income coming in. YouTube ain't my only stream of income. I could let you know that right now. But anywho, this is my bathroom. This is my bathroom. We got to ignore the clothes down there on the floor. I got to put them in the, um, the dirty clothes. And I need to sweep the floor. But this is the bathroom. Ain't nothing. See, it's like I need to sweep. 
I need to just give it a good, a nice, good cleaning and stuff. The knot is giving fancy hotel. And then, yeah. So. Yeah, I got to fix those um, towels over there. But. um, Yeah. And this is the big mirror. I try to keep it as clean as possible. But it be hard with a toddler. It really do. That's why I ain't show y'all the inside of my tub. <laughs> I don't think it's... It's not dirty, though. It's a little... It could... Let me see. Let me show y'all. It could use a little wipe down. But, like, I got washcloths and stuff over here. This came from... What is that? I think that's shampoo. Yeah, it could use a wipe down. But other than that, I try to keep it as clean as possible, to be honest. Because <clears throat> I do not like a mess. The only place in the house that I haven't really gotten to, like, real, real good is my bedroom. I've been taking it every day at a time. Like, when I find a little bit of time in the day, I'll do that. But I'd be just so busy doing everything else. Hey. Yeah, and I feel like I'm only going to continue to keep going further is because I keep God first. As long as I keep God first, I know that he's going to supply my every need. And he will give me the desires of my heart. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. I do it all, y'all. I'm always working. I'm always doing what I got to do. Feel me? Hey, Valerie. <laughs> I love Valerie. Uh-oh. Amen, sis. You got this. God is everything. Keep showing my mouth to subscribe. Maybe be able to find me on my Instagram. Just a life of single mom. I just did somewhat of a house tour. I'm not showing my room. Um, can I come over sometime? Of course you can. I was just telling your mom that when I was there the other day. I was like, y'all could come here and y'all could come watch Elijah for me. <laughs> I know he does. I know he does. And y'all, when I tell y'all, it's it, it be it be so scary sometimes because I be like, yo, God, ain't no way you just did that, y'all. When I tell y'all when the camera came, I kid y'all not. I wanted to freaking faint. I said, this cannot be real. <laughs> this cannot be real. Like when I tell y'all the amount of blessings that the Lord has showered me with. I'm just like, ain't no way. Like, it be feeling like it's a dream. It really feel like it's a dream. And I just be like, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Like, I don't know what else to say, but just thank you. Because, huh. What happened? No, I haven't never stayed on the um the west or the south. I like I like the east coast for the part for the most part, but um I just want to travel more. I want to travel more. It's not guaranteed money. It's a university program meaning that you have to wait sometimes for months since 2020. 
the eligibility is also being enforced and owners complain about the wait time. Uh, I'm not sure what that was about. But somebody just sent, um, what is that, a super chat? Is it Kristen? Kristen Manley? Did I say your name right? Or Kirsten? Yes, you should write down all your prayers and then go back later and see what God has done. Girl, let me tell you about that. Because I, I want to say it was TikTok that I um I did this with. No lie. This was March of last year. I literally did that. And I had no idea that that actually worked. And that wasn't even my... Hold on. That wasn't even my um, reasoning of doing it. These journals that I have, because I journal. These journals... Oh, my God. Thank you for that super chat. Who was that? Who is KR? Because y'all really in here for real. Um, thank you. But let me just show y'all something because that wasn't my intention. Like I didn't, I had no clue. I'm going to show y'all something. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. Because no lie. No lie. Okay. Thank you, babe. Um, Hold on, because this is crazy, y'all. When I went back and I just started reading this stuff, I said, what? <laughs> y'all, hold on, because when I tell y'all God is amazing, he's amazing. Hold on. Yeah, when I tell y'all God is amazing, he's amazing. So these are my like my little workbooks and stuff. This one was just given to me. I haven't really used it yet. But this one is three minutes positivity journal. You can find this on Amazon. Then these are the two that I had. These are the ones that I had when I was um, you know, just going through my spiritual journey with God, trying to get closer to him and stuff like that when I was living at home with my mom. I still use these journals from time to time, but not as often as I used to. Now, something was like, go into your journal, this one to be exact, the prayer journal. Go into your journal and just start reading some old things that you wrote, right? Y'all... I think it was the first page. Hold on, was it the first page? No. It was No. It was one of these pages I dated it. Y'all, it was scary to read this. I said, ain't no way. Hold on, I got to find that page for y'all. I don't remember what page it was. Okay, God, I'm so wrong with depression. I know you mean so long to come back in. I think it was something about a home. If I could find the one about a home, that's the one. Oh, yeah, this is it. This one is it. <clears throat> so... This is the page, and um, it says, basically, it says, being honest with God. It says, do you live much of your life filled with shame, with the feeling of, with the feeling that no matter what you do, good or bad, you would never, you would never be good enough for anyone else. Good enough for God. God actually cares about you. However, you should decide to be honest with God because nobody likes being lied to. Telling truth is one of the fastest ways for getting your prayers answered. Wow. It's now all coming to me. So it says, what have you been worried about lately? Write your thoughts below. Express your feelings and give the truth to God. Have you shared your truth with God? 
This was back last year. It says March 31st, 2022. Right up there. March 31st, 2022. Now watch this. So it says reflections and highlights. It says, this is what I wrote to God. I'm being vulnerable with y'all. I don't really put like let people in on my 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 journaling. Um, but okay, I says I've been worried about how how I'm going to afford this car. How I've been worried about um I've been worried about wait, let me read this again. I've been worried about going to receive what I've asked God for. I've been worried about Hold on. I'm reading this wrong. I'm going to be good enough. I've been worried about other jobs. I've been worried about how I'm going to accumulate more money. That was a, that was the biggest one. And it says, I've been worried about my relationship with God. I've been worried about, am I doing, doing enough? And so then it says, okay, what are your prayer requests? So... And my prayer request, I put um, getting me and my son a home, um, making sure that I'm raising my son to be uh, the best man that he can be, and financial freedom and success. And then it says, it says answers prayer. I, well, prayers answered. I never went back and wrote wrote down what the um if the prayer was answered or not but when i read it back to myself i was like wow god really went in and checked up checked off everything on this list that i was worried about and um i really feel like journaling sometimes can do that like if you sit and just journal and just write down everything that you're asking god to do and what you're um and what you want him to do he will really go back and like start checking stuff up checking stuff off of your list list so, um, yeah, y'all, like when I went back and read that, I said, this ain't no way, ain't no way. And we ended up with our home and this was, this is, it hasn't even been a whole year yet since I wrote this. This was March of last year. It's not even March yet. And he went in and checked everything off of this list. So like it, it works, it works. So I definitely encourage you guys, like if you guys don't journal, to definitely journal, man. Journal. And then go back and look and see if God has really answered your prayers about it, you know. I have so many, like, I wrote so much in this book. So, yeah. um, Yeah, so now, like I said, I'm manifesting everything. The car is coming. I know it's coming. I'm just, I'm, I'm being patient. Um, More money has already came. I have multiple streams of income now. Uh, me and my baby has our own place. And um, I feel like I'm doing better with raising him and being pa more patient with him and stuff like that. God has really been dealing with me on that level as well. Like being more patient with him and stuff like that. Um, what else can I, what else have I noticed? Um, Um, it, but God has been patient with me as well. So I pre I appreciate that. I'm going to start journaling. Don't you mean, don't you mean what you do? You I need. Wait. What happened? I missed what y'all was saying. I'm going to start journaling. Look at God. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. The car is coming next in Jesus' name. What do you and Eli need? We don't need anything. Uh, we're good, you know. Oh, your birthday. <laughs> um, I feel you. Why the heck I remember all the back days when they are part of the pack? I don't know. I'm not 
I'm now working all the time. My kids have a house and everything I ever wanted. See, God is so amazing. Like, it's never in our time. It's always in his time. But I continue to keep praying on that. And I continue to stay 10 toes down, man. And, you know, a lot of the times when we in God, we want to just, we want things to just happen like this. Nope. He makes us go through that long suffering process because he wants to make sure that we really with him for real, that we not just trying to, you know, play him and stuff like that. He want to know, like, if you really down, you down for real, that you really have the faith that you talk about. Have you ever did a prayer fast, Tiana? No, I'm not even sure what that is. Yes, he will do it. Yes, he will. And so, um, that's just the biggest thing. He just want to see if you're really faithful to him. Definitely want to try journaling. It's so cleansing. Like, every time I finish writing in my journal, I'll be like, wow, I'm so glad I got that off my chest. It felt good to release that and not have it bottled in. Um, it's so therapeutic. It really is so therapeutic. Where you don't eat and you pray. Oh, I never thought about doing that. I should try that. I'm catching a lie. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So, like, that was one of my prayers. And I was just like, man. I've been worried about how I'm going to find this guy. I've been worried about how I'm going to find this guy. I've been worried about how I'm going to find this guy. I've been worried about how I'm going to find Gotta be humble, though. Thick and thin, good and bad. Yes, yes, you do. May I ask? How you get into the situation? I'm not in the situation anymore. Yeah. So it and also I feel like um some of this was was um a lot of this was answered because. I, um, you know, with God is also sacrifice, you know, so you gotta, um, sacrifice some things too, in order to move on to the next level and not be stagnant. Um, when I was stagnant before I, I noticed a pattern, like I would go on social media, like Facebook was it for me. Facebook was real bad for me. I would go up there and I would compare myself a lot to my peers and all of that. So I said, you know what? I'm giving this up. I am giving this up. I said, because it's adding to the depression. It's adding to um, my stagnant, being stagnant and stuff like that. So I gave it up. That was one thing that I gave up. And it was hard to give it up at first because that's where all my friends were. That's how we communicated. So uh, once I gave that up and I just got, you know, deeper with the with, with the lord <laughs> i got deeper with the lord and i really focused more on him and my faith and um you know manifesting the things that i really wanted out of life that's when that i started to see things move for me um and then the last time me and my mom had got into it it was just it was kind of like an eye opener for me. Like, okay, this is God trying to nudge me. He's like, okay, Tiana, like you say you want these things, but now you have to sacrifice some other things. Um, and you got you to gotta move. So now I'm nudging you. Now I need you to move. I need you to move. And so he nudged me. You know, he had for this situation to happen with me and my mom. He nudged me like, okay, you got this. You don't need nobody else. You only need me. So... I took that. I said, I know if I ain't got nobody, I got my God. And so I left. I left my mom's house and I went to my grandmother's house. So if y'all, if 
the ones that wanted to know so bad, here, here's, here's, here's everything right here now. Um, I went to my grandmother's house. I stayed there for about two weeks. And then after that, you know, me and my son was moved into the shelter system and I just continue on from there. And I never looked back. I never went back. And so, um, that's it. You know, sometimes you just have to sacrifice some things. Sometimes you have to go through some things and it may be uncomfortable at the time, but it's necessary, you know, it's necessary. Um, and if, if, if you don't yield to God and what he's saying, he will definitely show you another way. He will definitely show you another way. So, um, if you don't say anything from this message, definitely take, just be obedient to God. Just be obedient. If he's telling you to do something, even if it doesn't make sense, do it. Just do it. It'll all make sense once it's done. Yeah, I'm not speaking on my finances no more because people are just nosy. Why does the amount of money that I make bother people or why is that even a thing? Yes, come on now, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things shall be added unto you. Well, that's not my place. They better go find it on somebody else's channel because I'm not here. That's not what I'm here for. If y'all was in here listening, y'all would have heard me say that I have multiple streams of income that YouTube is not my only source of income. Like, did y'all not hear me say I'm an entrepreneur? YouTube is not my end-all, be-all. <laughs> it's a stream of income. That's it. That's not what I rely on. And if you really know me like that, like if y'all really knew me and really paid attention, y'all know that I don't even be on YouTube like that for real. So if it was doing so much, don't you think I'd probably be up here a lot more often? Would I ever do it full time? I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Not you glad I got banned on, <laughs> on TikTok so y'all could get more of me over here. But I don't mind being over here on YouTube. Because like I said before, YouTube is... The reason why I come on YouTube and I'm so like open with y'all here is because this is where I started off at. You know, I started here on YouTube. YouTube is my is my baby. YouTube is my baby, and I'm not going to ever diss YouTube for another platform. Um, So that's why I always come back, and that's why I always give y'all what y'all ask for and stuff like that, because I started here. Um, But I don't understand why people think 
that is necessary to be in people's business about what they make off of social media. Like everybody knows you can make money off of social media. It's not it's not a secret. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Because that's what it's, it's starting to give. That's really what it's starting to give. They, they banned me for a week over on TikTok. So that's really what it's starting to give, to be honest. Um, is that y'all don't believe us content creators that you can't that you can make money on social media. Well, do it for yourself. Do it for yourself. I don't know what other proof y'all want to see, but it's true. People say it all the time. Come on, look at all these big content creators that's up here that's that showing off and flaunting the stuff that they have in their cribs. Come on now. It's not a is 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 what you make it. It's really what you make it. Is really what you make it. And that's at any job. That's at any job, any career is what you make it. Is what you make it. So if you one of those type of people that don't show up to work every day and you're showing you showing up late or you're not showing up at all, what you think your check gonna look like? You know what I mean? Now, if you're a person that's consistently at work, that's doing your thing, and you know, you're not skipping, you know, skipping work or calling out of work, you're gonna see a nice check. You know what I mean? You're gonna see, you're gonna see what the work you put in, you know what I mean? Where's our nephew? He's misbehaving. No, he he was pretty good today. Um, Elijah is asleep right now. Eat with Q says she made she made thousands after a year on YouTube. I believe it. Come on, y'all. I know I know. probably some of y'all don't really care for her, but my biggest inspiration here on YouTube today is Peach McIntyre. I don't agree with a lot of things that she do, but her hustle and her consistency, I love it. I love it. I look up to that lady because of her hustle. Um, and she show y'all, she show y'all the real, that it is possible to make a big bag, a big bank. But then again, she also show y'all that she ain't just making her money off of YouTube. She got multiple streams of income. You know what I mean? I'm new and I enjoy your videos. Thank you, babe. And I appreciate you all being here and you guys all asking some insightful questions and stuff like that. But some some questions just be too much. And I, I'm not like all these other content creators where they come out and they just telling y'all how much they making and stuff. Because, no. That's just not me. I don't ever want to be... I don't ever want to come off as being boastful or bragging you know what I mean and I'm not saying that they are but for me I've never been that person to come and just start telling people how much I make here or how much I make there or what I'm doing no that ain't nobody's business and just because let me tell y'all this too just because somebody is getting a certain amount of views um on any platform that's any platform let me make this clear. Just because they're getting a certain amount of views does not mean that, oh, they done made it to this status or they done made it to that status. No, it don't work like that. Let me tell you something. Here on YouTube, you can have a million, a million people view the video, but if they ain't watching them ads, you ain't getting paid. I will. I can tell you that. 
If they ain't watching them ads in your video, you're not getting paid because that's how you get paid. So when people looking like, oh, she got this, she got that, or she got this many views, she got that many views, she should be doing this, she should be doing that, or she should, you know what I mean? They have to watch your ads. And if they ain't watching them, they skipping through them, you ain't getting paid. <clears throat> I love your hustle and transparency. Keep going. It's none of our business what you make. Exactly. And I just want to keep it like that. I don't I don't come up here and asking y'all, well, how do you make how much money do you make at your job? Or what job do you work at? How much do you get paid a week? Or how much do you get paid monthly? Like I don't do that. Do you ever want more children? Um, in the future. That's not something I'm focused on right now. I'm trying to better me. Yes, me too. I watch, like, the creators that I watch, I will sit there and let their ads play. Nola, yes. Uh-uh, I'm not Nola. I do not have that. I don't have that accent. Uh, you're such a good mom. though. Love your channel. Thank you. And I want to start doing more mommy content and stuff with my son and all of that because that's what I really like to do, to be honest. That's really what my channel was supposed to be on. You know, mommy content, motherhood. And just navigating life with my son, you know, um, as a single mom. But I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep, um, I don't want to keep on with the single mom thing. Like, I'm trying to get away from that because life and death is in the power of the tongue. So, if I continue to keep saying, oh, single mom, single mom, single mom, then that's what I'm going to be. <laughs> so, I'm trying to manifest a wife, you know. Shoot. Oh, you was agreeing with you was agreeing with Nola. I thought you I thought you were saying that my um that uh I talk like I'm from there. Speak that thing. <laughs> Period though, for real. So I'm trying to get away from that. Like, you know, okay, single mom, but soon to be wife. <laughs> that's what I want to start, you know, that's what I'm trying to start, start saying. Thank you. Uh, what card do I want? I want an Ac. I want an Acura. That's my dream car. I know a lot of y'all probably like, oh, wow, you want to act? That ain't, you know, that ain't extravagant or nothing like that. I'm not one of those girls, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm real basic and straight to the point. A nice little act. That's cute for me. What color? Either black or like space gray. I think that would be so pretty. But, yeah, I want an Acura. A new one. Like, one of the newest ones. Does social media stress me out? Sometimes it can, um, but for the most part, no, because I overlook the stupidity. Okay, uh, Brenda, you say you're having trouble niching down on your channel. So, like, what are you posting? Like, 
what are you posting? Just anything or what? Because I could probably help you. <clears throat> hmm, I'm older than you. You inspire me. Keep doing what you do. been doing, girl. Thank you. I'm glad that I inspired y'all, but I really want y'all to be more inspired by the God that is on me, the love that is on me by God, the God that is in me. I want y'all to be inspired by that. And and if if you don't have a relationship with him to get one, and if you do have a relationship with him to make a stronger one with him, um, that's what I really want y'all to see. That's what I want y'all to take. And know that you can do anything through Jesus Christ who strengthens you. I have a Kia Soul. Do you like them? I don't even know what a Kia Soul look like. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up. In your grands. Keep in your grands. Okay. Um, tie it into like, like what I do. Um, tie it into something like that. Okay, you're not... Um, um, their mother, but you're their grandmother, you know, do the same type of stuff that I do, create the same type of content that I do with your grandkids. Um, and then throw in, you know, your, your, uh, your, um, your decor and stuff, ideas and stuff to the people that watch your channel, because people like stuff like that. <laughs> people really like stuff like that. There you go. You just brought it down to one thing. I do all of that stuff on my channel. Y'all just see me decorate my house for um for Valentine's Day. I do stuff with my son. We go places and stuff like that. Girl, you got this. Hey man, you your aura is definitely amazing. Thank you. Say that it's the God in you. Yes, it's the God in me and on me. Um, hello. How are you doing? I'm great. Tiana, your thoughts on my channel? Wait. Your thoughts on my channel are not popping up. Um, I don't know what that was supposed to mean. But, um, I'll check out your channel, Life of Single Mom. Let me write that down. Matter of fact, let me write it in here because I'm going to forget if I write it right there. Life of single mom. Single mom. Um, I want a newer Acura MDX. I like the three rows. Ooh, I have to look that up. I said I wanted an Acura TL, but hey, the way that. I'm going, I'm like, Lord, I want a bigger family too. Like I want more children. I want a husband, stuff like that. So I might have to go for something else. Um, Tiana, you're already a wife. Many young women don't understand that scripture. A man that finds a wife finds a good thing. You are a wife to speak. So speak from that place. Thank you. Um, is it Empress? I, I love that. Thank you. Oh, Lord, just got done walking my dog. He about 240 pounds. Jesus. Well, I hope he got a great exercise. Um, But I love that. Matter of fact, let me screenshot that so I can remind myself that every day. I'm going to write that down on a, um, a sticky note. That's about to be my mantra, my mantra. Hurry, I say it. I love that. Thank you for that. Thank you, sweetie. When you say wife, one day, make sure he has... Wait, make sure he has the best dress for you and your son can be a provider. A man is not a man just because he wants... Does he Just because he wears the pants, a man is a man when he takes care of his responsibility. Period. Yep. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I was just talking to one of my homegirls last night, and I was just saying how, like, this time is different with me. Like, it's, it's just so different. I'm not accepting certain things. I'm not going back to things that I've already, that I've, I've let go of in the past. 
and I know what I want. Like, I know what I want this time, and I'm not going for none of that bull crap. I'm not going for it, and honestly, <clears throat> honestly, um, the way my life is going right now, I can't afford any more slip-ups or any more extra stuff that just that doesn't align with where I'm going in life. You get what I mean? Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. I need a new mattress, but um, an affordable. Any suggestions? Um, Affordable mattresses. Oof. You probably gonna have to probably gonna have to try Amazon or Walmart to be honest. You're welcome. I'm in love with your nose. Thank you, babe. Hi. Um Philly. From country called Trinidad in the house. In the house. Okay, Trinidad in the house. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. I'm so happy and proud of you. Keep up the positivity. Thank you, and I will. Uh, I know that's right. That's the spirit. Yes, you have to. Like, mm -mm. I ain't going for none of these 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 dusty men out here no more. Like, I really know what I want, and, and I know my worth, and I'm act, adding tax to it. Like, ain't nobody finna little girl me. Ain't nobody finna try to manipulate me. Like, I've been there, done that. I'm way smarter, more wiser. Mm -mm. nope so if you feel like i'm giving you a hard time then you ain't the one for me and you best go hit the door what martin say get the step in <laughs> yes definitely Yeah, I mean, what is it to get big-headed for? Like, I'm still one of y'all at the end of the day. You know, I'm just an entrepreneur now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just trying to be my own boss. That's it. I ain't no different from the rest of y'all. And that's what people, they try to make the person superior than what they actually are. No, nope. no, I'm not. Bring me back down because I never wanted to be up there. I'm chill. Like, I don't want I don't want that fame and stuff like that. I just want to be able to take care of my family and live a good life. That's it. And talk about my God. Um, the blue travel bag, it came from, um, Walmart. They have them there still. You on here on Valentine's Day? Yes, I am. Yeah, because where my man at? <laughs> the one time I'm here on Valentine's Day, I am. Where's my man? <laughs> you have to stay humble. Like, <laughs> who just took that down? Who retracted that message? I don't even know I had moderators. Hi, can you please say my name? I don't get noticed by anyone. Well, what is your name? Let me read your at name. So the real Lily Jane Dodo, Dodo Bird. Hi. I'm not accepting any less anymore. Yes. Um, I love watching your videos and TikToks. Thank you, Nevea. Um... Somebody, what did she say? I'm not accepting any less anymore. Right. So, um, like I said, me and one of my girlfriends was talking last night. And we was basically talking about that. And, um, you know, um, 
we were saying how like females really get caught up in that, like, you know, giving less of their self or accepting whatever a man is willing to give them instead of knowing their worth. And that's why a lot of guys, believe it or not, don't respect us, you know, because they see how weak these women has became and they're letting these guys just treat them any type of way. So, yeah, you got to just know your worth and add tax for real, for real. Um, Tiana, do you like women too? No, I don't like women. I am a child of God. I am strictly, y'all know the other word. Um, do true, do two truths and a lie. I told my mom I'm taking my time because I'm not dealing with BS anymore. Yeah, and I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it's hard waiting because you never know. But, I mean, I feel like the feeling will be way more rewarding if you actually wait for the person that the Lord has for you. Because, man, God know what he be doing. <laughs> he really know what he be doing. We just be very impatient and we start um, letting our flesh take take over and do what it feels like doing. Alignment to break home. <laughs> I love that year on here building as well. Thank you. Yo. Somebody get my nephew out the comments because this little boy should have been asleep. In the bed, sleep. What time is that? I'm telling your mom. Now it's almost going on 12 o'clock. And this little boy's still up commenting <laughs> up here. <laughs> Y'all, my nephew is up here commenting on stuff. He shouldn't even... Hey, Tay. He shouldn't even be up right now. This little boy is like 10, 11 years old. I'm about to text my sister and be like, hey, Eli is on, on live. He talking about some no. You in the mix tonight? Oh, God. No, I'm not in the mix, Tay. I was just telling them how we was talking last night about, like, how women really be just settling for anything, to be honest. No snitching. Mm. Too late for that. <laughs> this little boy need to be in the bed. It's, he shouldn't even be listening to this. This is a dope conversation. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with oil in thy heart and lean not on to... Lean not... To thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Come on, girl. That's my scripture right there. That's my that's one of my fave scriptures. That one and um Jeremiah 20 29 and 11. I'm just getting home. I'm about to shower and chill. Aw, I'ma text you. <laughs> I'ma text you. Mm -mm -mm. Let me text my sister. My my nephew's still up here because if okay, okay, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it was nice talking to you, Elijah. It's nice having you in the live. Yes, girl, that's my fave. Which one is that? It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declared the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope in the future. That's literally what I'm living right now. Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6, my fave scripture. Keep preaching, girl. I love your channel. Very inspirational. Amen. Um, Hi, from Mississippi. I love seeing you and Elijah. You are such... 
a sophisticated young lady. Period. Yes, y'all. That and that's what I want. Like, I used to belittle myself so much. I'd be like, mm, I don't know if I could do that. Mm, I don't know if I can do that. I used to always say how I wanted to be like a motivational speaker and I didn't know how I was going to end up being that motivational speaker. But I really feel like God really uses, um, you know, the, the life lessons that he give you to really like show what he's capable of. Like, I used to be like, I want to do this. I want to be that. I want to do this. I want to do that. But I didn't know how I was going to do it. So I would just kind of shy away from it. I never thought that I would ever be in a place where I would sit in front of people and talk to them. What? I could never. Growing up, what? Mm -mm. Being in front of crowds made me nervous. The fact that I can sit here and talk to y'all, and when I know it's 275 people watching me, like, it's crazy to me. It's really crazy. Girl, you can move mountains. I see you do it. <laughs> um, I'm ordering that prayer journal off of Amazon. Yes, do it. Please do it and really do it. Like, and really write in it for real. Like, y'all, it's so therapeutic, man. It has gotten me through some really rough times. Um, this one I just recently bought from Target. Probably at back at towards the beginning of January. I bought this one. It says Faith Can Move Mountains. And um, like sometimes I'll just get up and I'll start writing in it. Like I've still been like grieving the loss of my father. And I'll just get up and I'll start talking to God about it. Because when my dad, before my dad died, he um he used to tell me all the time, like, hey T, call me sometime and stuff. And I was very intimidated by my dad's voice because he had a really deep voice. And a lot of times when we get on the phone, it just be him trying to tell me off. And I hated that. But now I just, I, I wish that I would have called those last couple of times that he told me to. And so I'll be feeling guilty sometimes. So I'll wake up with a bad conscience and I'll just start writing in my journal like, Lord, I need you to help me shake this feeling of, you know, these these guilty thoughts and stuff like that. Um and help me and stuff because it'd be hard. Man, I'd be going through it. But the journaling really helps to take that out so you don't have to fill it all bottled up all at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still on. Yeah, when I get on lies, I get caught up with the lies, but I ain't got really nothing going on right now. I do need to put up that desk, but it'll happen. It'll happen. My work is done for the day. So I'm straight. I'm chilling. Thank you. Yes, definitely. I believe you were the one that was up here the other day and was telling me about something really, really personal that happened to you. I think that would be so therapeutic for you, though, if you really did that. What's the name of the journal again? I got a couple of them. Let me show y'all them. I really want to start writing in this one a lot more. So this one is Three Minutes Positivity Journal. That's that. So this is from Amazon and this one has like a lot of guided stuff in it I don't know if y'all can see that um and then oh Jesus Christ this one is just a regular journal so this one you can find at Target Faith can move mountains. And on this one, it comes with scriptures at the top. So it comes with scriptures and then you can just write as like a little diary or a little journal. Then we have the self-love. I was going through that too, y'all. I was going through like loving myself and stuff like that. Um, 
because I felt ugly at one point. You know, I was depressed. I felt ugly. I felt unwanted. I felt unneeded. And so I got this and I started journaling in here. So good. So good. Let me show y'all how, how it looks. So it gives you some stuff you can read. It helps you with self-help and like gives you some, um, some guided, um, I forgot what it's called. Some guided lessons. Hold on. Let me show y'all what some of them look like. Dang. Okay, so like for instance, it says recognize your 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 insecurities. And you will write like your insecurities in this little bubble right here. And it says, so what's some insecurities for me? Speaking in public, I have up here. Um, approaching new people, asking for help, walking in a room confidently by myself. Um, I used to struggle with um, my outward appearance. Like, I wouldn't wear a crop top ever. Now, I will wear a crop top and not care what the next person thinks. Like, my confidence has, like, has really, like, shot through the roof over the last couple of years. Um, it has a bunch of different stuff in here. Compassionate comebacks, stuff like that. This stuff really helped, y'all. Believe it or not, it really helps. Because it also lets you reflect on how your mind is really thinking. And then this is the other one. This is the prayer journal for women. And um, it has the little daily... Um, it has the reflections. It gives you like a little devotional... And all of that, yada, yada, yada. And then you just write your reflections and stuff on this side. And yeah. Those are all my journals. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm reading some of y'all comments now. Hold on. Giving potty. Oh, girl. Potty training. It was rough for me, too. But I will give you some tips on potty training in a second. Let me read some more of these comments, and then I'll get back to that question. Uh, well, that comment. Um, Sounds like me. I know that's right. Yes. Please try it out, y'all. Like, if y'all really, truly have that urge to like really want to change your life and change your mindset i definitely recommend self-help books and prayer journals um okay i'm getting that self-love book thursday yes get it babe i felt the same way i had to slip and fall accident left me disabled Ooh, in 20 in 2014 i got depressed and everything i had to go on and tell yourself Love journey and get counseling to get better. Yeah, sometimes it takes for that to happen, you know. Okay. Okay, thanks. I'm getting better, though, because the devil is a liar. I'm a child of God, a chosen one, period. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing coming after that, okay? Yes, and, and, and know that and believe that. Okay, so back to the potty training. Somebody said that they're struggling with potty training. Um, glad you're doing better. You're created in the image of God, so you are beautiful and is. Yes, beautifully and wonderfully made by the creator himself. Um, so potty training tips. <laughs> Elijah, take your butt to bed. <laughs> this little boy. But um potty training tips. So what I did with my son was I made him a potty chart. I made him a potty chart. I created it myself. I got some stickers and I made it cute and stuff. 
for him and um i get i got this little uh treasure box from the dollar store and i put like a bunch of stuff that i know he likes so my son likes candy and he likes um he likes toys and stuff so i found like a bunch of toys that i know he would like from the dollar store so i wasn't spending too much money and i would put it in this prize box and then i would tell him okay if you want a prize then you got to make sure that you go to the potty you know what i mean so um, I will always just kind of keep like encouraging him to go to the bathroom so that way he can get his prize. Like, hey, and you know, just kind of keep reminding them even out throughout the day. Hey, hey, you want a prize? Make sure you use the potty, you know, just kind of reminding them because sometimes they'll forget. And um, it worked for me. Honest to God, it really worked for me. Like my son wanted a prize every single time. So um, I don't know if your kids is into toys or into candy or stuff like that. Um, but it worked. It, it, it worked for me. And then after he filled up the potty chart. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully, wonderfully, beautifully, all of that. Um, but anywho, um, what I was about to say. And then once he got to the end of the potty chart. Once he got to the end of the potty chart, I um I I let him go and pick what he wanted to do. So whether that was like Urban Air, Chuck E. Cheese, um, the trampoline park, whatever he wanted to do. Once he filled up that chart, and I was consistent. You have to still be consistent though. So like reminding them to use the bathroom. And even if they say um, they don't have to use the bathroom, you know, just get up, just put them up there anyways and let them try. Because a lot of the times they actually have to go, but they, they don't want to go because they think they're going to miss something. I have one, she's two, and she's taking her pull-up. I'm guessing um, and stuff off all the time, so I know. Hold on. No, she's ready. That. That's genius. Yeah, it worked. I'm I'm telling y'all, if y'all kids is into like toys, like even those toys, like um what they call them toys, the little um the surprise toys, stuff like that, like stuff you can find for like a dollar maybe or fifty cent and stuff like that. Put them in the prize box. Put their favorite little candies in there and be like, hey, if you do something for me, I can do something for you. You know, kind of play be playful with them, you know. So it's like more like a game than forcing them to do something because they ain't gonna do it. They ain't gonna do it if you're trying to force them. God, let me use an amazing group of women that help me on my journey. I am. I do a six a.m. prayer call with them every morning for two years. Been so amazing growing in Christ. Yes, it is. It is amazing how how Christ can grow you. On so many levels. Girl, my mom loves you so much. She tells you, Miss Brown. Wait. She said, tell you. Miss Brown said hi. Hey, Miss Vera. I watch your videos on how to make, wait, how to start a YouTube channel. You are making money on your channel yet? Is so if if so, is it enough to make a big difference? I don't I don't really know what that means, but um I don't talk about my financial stuff here. That's you, you can find that on other people's channels, but I don't talk about that here. I'm going to the dollar store. I'm going to Dollar Tree and do that. That's exactly where I went. You can find a bunch of good stuff there. And make a potty chart. Make a potty chart and get stickers. So every time they go to the bathroom, they put the stickers on the potty chart. And let them do it. So that way, they it's like you're praising them for doing something good. <laughs> yes, dollar plus tree. 
Are you having merch? <laughs> yes, I'm going to drop merch soon, you guys. I'm just trying to get all my vendors and stuff together. I'm trying to get stuff set behind the scenes and stuff like that. I think you guys are going to like this merch drop. I really believe it. I I I thought about it for a while. Um and I sat up with God like, "Okay, God, what do you think these people would like?" And he just he he had me brainstorm some ideas and I think you guys are going to like them. I really do. What merch? I'm going to be putting out merch soon. Soon, soon, soon. I'm so excited for it, too. I was brainstorming some stuff. And I think it's in this book, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I think y'all going to love them. So I want to say it's going to probably be four different designs. Hold on, let me see. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's probably going to be like four or five. Yeah, four or five designs. I think y'all going to love them. I know y'all going to love them. <laughs> y'all love anything that I put out. And if y'all love my content, I, I just know y'all going to love this. Y'all probably going to love this more. Girl, yes, I do. I Because I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm new to this stuff. I'm trying to figure things out. I'm trying to do the best that I can. But, yeah, like, I even have a Cricut machine that I'm trying to um, figure out how to work it and stuff like that so I can do other types of crafts and all of that because I want to start, um, I just want to start doing a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I just want to start doing a bunch of stuff um, because I've been hearing people like, oh, T, you should really do party prep or T, you should really do this. And so I'm I'm, I'm keeping my options open and I'm, I'm thinking about it and stuff. I'm not trying to shut anything down before, you know, I take chances on actually doing it. So. Well, what is it Keisha? Keisha, was it wait, Keisha Chosen and Blessed? Um, are you following me on Instagram? Or do you have a TikTok account? Cause I need to be able to get in contact with you, sis. Yeah, but I'm thinking don't send it on um, IG because I might not be able to find you. <laughs> I heard that. Nope, I heard that. Um, everybody always said that. Do you have a TikTok account? If you have a TikTok account, oh, dang, what's your TikTok name? Let me write it down. Put your TikTok name in the comments so I can find you. And then that way I can um, message you back. Because you're not going to be able to message me up there unless we're friends. I sure don't. <laughs> How can we do this? Girl, I don't know. Email me. Email me. Email me. Email me. You could email me. Your inspiration. Do you take... Yes, I take everything, y'all. I tell y'all all the time, send me stuff. My P.O. box is open. I got it up until June. Um, And if you guys really, like, 
like sending me stuff, I may keep it on longer. But I mean, if I don't get nothing sent to the PO box, then I'm gonna close it. I told people that I would make it because I know people have businesses and stuff that they wanted to get up off the ground and stuff like that. So I was telling people to send me their product. I'm I'm promoting your product for free. I'm not charging you anything. Send me your product and I'll promote it on my page. Hold on. Well, on my accounts. Let me write my email out for you so you can see it. Shake my body, go to show me smile. All right, so this is my email. Hold on, show you. So this is my email. Can y'all read that? Sorry, I meant to say some. How's I post in the shirt cups? <laughs> Thank you. So this is it. Come to Pittsburgh, you want to hang out with me? <laughs> yeah, I know it's a lot of people that wants me to really be their friend in real life. <laughs> I'm like, there's enough of me to go around. Awesome. I love hearing that. And you'll get there too. You will get there. Continue to keep putting that best foot forward. God sees you. I miss TikTok too. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to keep I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it cuz every time I think about it, it makes me sad. But I mean, it's it's cool over here on YouTube too. I love y'all too. But it, I don't know. The vibe over there is just so different from any other platform. And to be honest, y'all, I really don't even care for TikTok like that because it's so many more trolls over there. But I don't know. It, it's I don't know. It's something about TikTok that I just can't stay away from. Period. Okay, got you, Keisha. I just got your your um your email. So many young kids on there too. It is, and it's a lot of bitter Betty's over there too. Yeah, I just came through. I just saw it. Our conversations are great. Yes, they be good over there. We just have a lot of fun over there. Sometimes being over here and being on Instagram, you can find a lot of like real serious people. Um, but over on TikTok, I don't know. It'd be a lot. It'd just be a lot more fun over there. But I like having these conversations with y'all because I really, I think y'all really be just wanting to know me more. 
And it ain't nothing wrong with that. Because people want want to be a part of people that they can relate to. No problem. If anyone need help, start a company and let me know I can help. Okay. Thank you, Keisha. I appreciate that, man. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, and that's the other thing. Like, you never know who you'll bump into, you know, doing things. So it's just best that you just obey God and do what he asked you to do. I've met so many lovely people with um with being on these platforms and I really adore a lot of you guys. I really adore y'all for real. I've met I've made connections with people. I've made friendships with people. Um people that I talk to on a regular basis now and it's just like crazy how you can really make your own family on the internet. <laughs> Yo, you can really make your own family on the internet. I love I love you guys being here and and just talking to me. My birthday is May 13th. Oh my God. Not y'all don't be watching TV no more. Y'all come and look and watch me. Well, I hope that when you guys are watching me that I can be inspiring to you to do better um, and, and motivate you to, to just do more, you know, get more out of life. Because the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit, you know. Once you set your mind to something, do it. It always seems impossible until it's done. That's one of my favorite quotes. And that's by Nelson Mandela. It always seems impossible until it's done. So when you when you have a thought, that thought didn't just come to you for no reason. You know what I mean? That thought didn't just come to you for no reason. So act upon it. Watching from Canada. Wow. Hey, Canada. Who I know I told my kid of a husband. You remind me of myself. My birthday is May 19. Oh, you're a tourist, just like me. Oh, May girl, too. Yes, you do. God is definitely using you, honey. You are God's chosen one. Yes. Yes, and I will let I will continue to let the Lord use me. I will continue to let him use me. He gets all the glory. Thank you, Lord. That's my God. He really be looking out for real. And so when I be feeling like, hey, I ain't I ain't got nobody today. I don't got no friends. I don't, I got God. I got my God. And that's all I need. I got my Jesus. I got my Jesus. That's all I need. <laughs> Watching from Puerto Rico. Hey Puerto Rico. So y'all know I'm um I'm I'm black, Dominican, and Portuguese. That's where the last name Gomez come from, y'all. How's Elijah and the rest of the clan? Elijah's great. My mom is good. Um, I haven't spoken to her, I think, since Sunday or Monday. Um, with me, 
He will make a way out of no way. Come on now. Don't get me up in here shouting now. I turn, I can't turn the music on on YouTube, but I get up in here and shout a cappella. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. Sure. I'm not sure what prayer beads are, but if you can tell me more, I'd be I'll be glad to accept them. <laughs> Yo, for real. I get up and cut a step, okay? Praise him, praise him, praise him. I love me some God. I love me some Jesus, okay? Jesus, Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus, Jesus is the reason why I'm here. <laughs> Elijah, I'm, I'm texting your mom right now. Let me text her. Let's find Auntie Kendra. Hey, sister. E, what age? Uh-oh. Let me put more mute. <laughs> <laughs> Are you awake? Why is not working? <laughs> your mommy probably sleep that's sad because if she's sleeping you up that don't make no sense Look at God. Yes. Ashley. Yep. Keep praying. Yes. You know, my son's YouTube channel, I'll show y'all in a second. But I have wanted to respond to this person's this person's comment they said um i love how you hold on i love how you have overcame everything in your way let me tell you something it wasn't easy but let me tell you something my whole thing is and i, I really want y'all to hear me when i say this because i don't think people really understand it understand it for real imagine today you struggling imagine today you struggling and you give up and then tomorrow be the day that you actually win but you won't ever get to see it because you gave up yesterday so you just never know. Tomorrow can be the day that you, can be the day that you actually win, but you done gave up on yourself today, so you'll never see that day. So my whole thing is don't give up because it's going to happen. Don't give up because it's going to happen. Tomorrow can be the day that you win. And that's why I kept, like, that was be the thing that in the back of my head. Like, if I give up today, tomorrow may be the day that I actually win. But I won't know because I gave up today. So, I will always have to encourage myself to keep going. <laughs> Yo. Empress, I'm not about to play with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I play too much, but I'm for real. I'm for real. Like, if you really just sit and think about it, like, 
wow, man, I'm struggling today. But I know I've been doing my thing. I know I've been doing what I'm supposed to do. And tomorrow might be the day that God actually plans on blessing me. But I won't know that because I done gave up today. So how about I just keep going just to see, you know, if tomorrow has the blessing with my name written on it, you know? And even if it don't, I know eventually it will. It's too many people out here that has testimonies that where they've they've overcame stuff for people to really sit back and be like, oh, it'll never happen for me. It will. You have to believe in yourself. Faith without works is dead. Um, that's the other thing. So, um, yes, you can have faith all day long, but if you ain't doing nothing, you ain't putting no work to get somewhere, it ain't going to happen for you. You got to put in the work. The God needs to see you putting in the work, putting in the effort, and he going to meet you halfway. You got to put in the work and you got to believe. My God is a God that he shall not lie. So anything that he says in his word is true. Okay. So if he said he's going to do it, he's going to do it. You could back, you could, you could be like, well, God, you said this and you said that. You could do that. You could take it to him and be like, well, God, you say you was going to do this and you say you was going to do that. Lord, you say you are a man that you shall not lie. Bring it back to him. Bring it back to him. He ain't forget. Thank you. Yeah. Bring it back to him. For real. He know what he said. That's it. Everything. 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 I be like, Lord, I am tired today. Lord, how am I going to get through today, Lord? Give me the endurance to get through today, Lord. Help me, Lord, when I get tired to keep going. Lord, I need you to... Uh, 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 um, 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 um... Oh, I thought my sister had texted me back. Um, Lord, I need you to put some sense into this child. I need you to uh, give him the obedience to listen to his mom. Y'all, I be talking to God all day long. I be talking to him all day long. Good night. I have many goals. Many goals. One of my goals is to drop this merch line. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. So, you know, um, I'm as pure as they come. And I stay true to myself. And that's what I feel like has got me far. And I continue to talk to people about the word of God. Um, because that's what he gives me these platforms for. And I told him that, you know, I made that promise to him. I said, you know, Lord, if you enlarge my territory, I give you all the glory out of it. And that's exactly what he's been doing. 
And I just thank God that he has put me on these platforms and that these platforms has allowed us to be able to even talk about God. Because a lot of, a lot of places has gotten away from that. Um, talking about religion and stuff like that. So I appreciate it. I really do. And as long as I'm on these platforms, I'm going to continue to talk about my God. And not just any God, but um, but the Lord, the one that went and laid down his life for me, that one. I'm not religious, but very spiritual. And that's okay. You know? Hello, Tiana, everyone in the chat. Hey, what's up? Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You better say that, girl. Hey, boo. you would have slept the whole night the rest of the night hey say, say hi what you want yeah it ain't nothing in there it's a little bit you want that oh eli youtube let me do that right now hold on can't see Hold on a little bit, baby. Let me see. You want to give them your YouTube channel? You want to show them your YouTube? They said, hey, he was saying. That's right. Say that. You do not have to be in church. And that's the other thing. People feel like you got to be in church to have a, even a relationship with the Lord. You don't. You want to show them your YouTube channel? No. Why? Because I want to watch this. No. You're not about to watch this. You're about to go back to bed. Push it down. Okay, here, here. Say hi to Empress. Empress says, hey, handsome. You want to show them your, your video that you got up here? No. All right, well, then get down because I'm not about to tolerate the whining. I need to revamp his channel, y'all. He got 258 views. Let me show y'all what it looks like. So this is Elijah's channel. Elijah's Playland. But he got one video up here that we did. Let's go racing. I guess. I guess. That's the way one quote smoke half a lot. It's the G girl. You and me both. So this is my baby's YouTube channel. He got 78 subscribers. Y'all go subscribe to my baby channel. Elijah's Playlands. We won't be posting over there. I need to get back to doing that. But it's a lot of work when you one mama and you doing everything, trying to manage four different platforms and um, 
the stuff that I got going on behind the scenes, <sighs> you know, brand and everything, collaborations, brand deals. It's a lot. It's a lot. And they say, you know, they say be careful what you ask for because you may get that you may get that and more. And so, man, <laughs> I was not expecting all of this all at once. You know what I mean? I don't know if y'all heard me. I hope hopefully y'all heard me. But um Yeah, people been wanting me to write a book. I've I've had author wait, what is it is it considered authors? I don't know. But like the people that does the books and stuff, I've had people reach out to me, call me and stuff like that because they know I'm trying to write y'all. There's so much. People people was telling me that I should start acting and stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, y'all. It's just so much. I'm like, man, the opportunities are endless at this point. Like, they really are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. Publishers. <laughs> How did not how could I think about that? Yeah, my brain be fried so much. I feel like it has not came back ever since I became ever since I um have became pregnant. Cause y'all, when I, I tell y'all I'll be having like a cloudy brain, brain farts, it'd be bad. I'd be like, how did I forget what I was about to say? New subscriber, have you a thumbs up video year? Journey mimics my life journey somewhat. I I too was a single parent of one daughter. Always be humble and give your glory to Yes, and I do. Yes, publishers it was. Um I love when you crack up at yourself. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. So it's just a lot, a lot, a lot. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it together. I'm trying to get it together. I really am. And I'm going to get it together for y'all. Cause I know y'all want to see me grow and glow and be everything that I can be and more. But, um, I'm about to get off of this, y'all, because it's 12, 16 at night. I want to straighten up my house a little bit more, wash some dishes in my sink, clean my bathroom. Look, book promotion. <laughs> Somebody just emailed me a book promotion. Um, I want to get in my room and organize a little bit because I'm almost close to being done, but not quite. Yes, honey, I'm here for you. I'm praying and rooting for you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys don't even know. I appreciate you guys coming on and staying with me and talking with me and stuff like that, getting to know me a little bit better. Because I know sometimes my videos can seem a little bit, um, uh, what do they call it? Uh, um, routined. Um, they can seem a little bit routined. Um, and you guys don't get that real, real side of me. So I'm gonna try to shy away from that a little bit more now that I have my camera and I have a little bit extra room to be able to be myself and not have to cut so much out of a video. But I definitely appreciate you guys coming here. And, you know, just chilling and chatting with me and stuff like that. And I hope you guys you guys received something from this live and um we can do this again sometime so um i'm gonna call it a night i love you guys i hope you guys stay safe stay blessed and i will see you guys whenever i come back on so good night you guys